Yard Machines MTD mower. It has the accessory mount. It has the little fancy X over. We'll show you that more specifically. But anyway, to change it, we're going to disconnect the spark plug, tip it up onto something around like a spare tire, something like that. You don't want it to go over the whole way because the oil might spill out. And we'll use some wood blocking and I think a 5 8 inch socket. So let's go ahead and do what we're supposed to do. Disconnect the spark plug. Pinch down on it. Sometimes you might need a plier to do that. You always want to do that because anytime you're forcing the rotation of the blade, you don't want it to actually turn the motor and possibly cause it to start. So we'll tip it up onto our tire. We're going to get some wood blocking and maybe different strategies. Okay, guys, put your wood block in there the way you want to put it. Maybe a couple guys that can hold it against the blade and the deck and the ground, pinch it off. Now you probably want to have it so you're going to wrap your socket down. Oh, you already got it loosened up a little bit. Oh, that's not, not fair. Muscles showing off. Alright, sometimes you have to use a mallet to get it started by tapping a little bit. But anyway, you think it's time to change the blade, guys? What do you think? I think it could use uh, maybe a couple more years yeah. before we need to actually change it. I don't know, the old one was cutting just fine. It just doesn't look very pretty. Alright, Jonathan, don't need the blocking anymore. Alright, let's take a look at that old blade, put it next to the new one and see if it has the same kind of mount. Does it look like it's going to line up? Yeah. Looks pretty similar. Okay. Well, let's get the new one out of the package. Except for a couple Whoa, areas. Whoa, look at that, that old uh, one. Yeah, a little uh, The old one's up. been sharpened a couple times. Doesn't look like it's going to be mulching very good. <laughs> it won't be able to get much lift to it. How does that thing even work? Probably looks like it's an inch shorter. Okay, take the plastic off and we'll get the new one get this in place. Plastic off finally. That took a little bit longer than just about everything else, so we cut that out. But anyway, we're going to take off some of the stickers, I guess. It looks like it's definitely going to be a match, so we're going with it. Otherwise, yeah, if it was not going to fit, you'd want to return it before you unwrapped it and whatever. Okay, take the paper off. Is this this could be, be a show right here. <laughs> the blade does not look sharp at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How'd that happen? I thought that was going to be the challenging part. Maybe not. All right. Now, it looks like we could sharpen the blade. But let's pretend we're just average people. And we just bought a brand new blade and we're just going to use it. It has an edge, it's just not a, a crisp sharpened edge. But anyway, let's go ahead and mount it and tighten it up and secure it and then finish off. Go ahead. <laughs> that worker got a little comfy here. He doesn't feel like getting up now. <laughs> of course not. Line it up, line the holes, screw it in. I guess we could add some oil or something. But I guess the other problem with adding something like oil is you hate for the thing to work itself loose while you're mounting. So that's one of those catch 20 teams. You don't have to be on securely without cross threading or anything but you definitely want it to stay on you don't want it to accidentally work loose so we're make sure it's lined up we get it snug down pretty good making sure it's all we adjust our ratchet so we're going to tighten it this time <laughs> and align it just you just want to wobble with your fingers a little bit to make sure the holes are aligning and now we'll use the blocking on the opposite side. And we'll shift around and we'll be just about done. We'll use the exact same strategy with the blocking. We're just on the opposite side now. And you can either lift up with your finish or you can push down. Which one's easier, guys? Lifting up or pushing down to tighten it? Great. Blocking has some contact against the backing. Decides to lift up. Okay, you get a little more force than the, the gravity. Alright, I think we're pretty good. If we used a longer ratchet, I think it's just a 3 8 inch. If we used a, a half 
the options we get a lot more leverage. Now is it set inside the groove? It appears to be. Now this this mower is shot. It's 20 years old. I was gonna throw it away a couple years ago. I was gonna use the blade maybe one more time. Well we've been cutting leaves and sawdust and mulch and twigs and everything and sharpen it up and you can see what happens to a mower blade. I would not recommend going quite that far. Okay guys? Don't do that. It's probably stupid. But anyway, luckily nobody got hurt. I think this new one's going to work like a champ. So, let's get things closed up. I think we're in good shape. We've got to upright it. Connect our spark plug. Looks like we're probably set to go. But anyway, that's it. Piece of cake. The old blade, finally. I think that one can go straight into the garbage. We're not even going to save that as a backup. What do you think? No. <laughs> Can't even whittle that in a pocket knife. <laughs> All right.